Mr Speaker, I can't help but mention the number of firsts that are in this Parliament. Our first Rastafarian, our Green colleague over there, very glad to see you here. It adds diversity. Our first Polynesian woman. And yes, I have to say it, I guess, the first transsexual in New Zealand to be standing in this House of Parliament. Not only in New Zealand, ladies and gentlemen, but also uh, in the world. This is a historic moment. I'd heard about Georgina beforehand, you know, sort of said, oh, you know, there's this lady who's coming to town and rumours, oh, I think she's a transsexual, you know, so it was always a bit of a, you know, um, a sort of bit of mystery about Georgina, mm. really. There was some curiosity. So, yeah. About her, because it's a small town, so um, at, back then, you know, anybody new arriving in town was sort of, uh, well, particularly Georgina, you tended to hear about it. She's got grace and she's got um, just something exquisite about her that's really woman. And I think that we look to her and, and still go, wow, I wish I could do it as good as she. <laughs> I talked to people around about and they said she's good, isn't she? You know, all the people around here think she's one of them and very good. No, I don't think the past is held against her. It might be if she tried to cover it, mind you. It might be like some other people in Parliament, but she's never tried to. She, she's straightforward. I think she's going to be hard on the MP. <laughs> she, you never know, give her a few more years and she could be the Prime Minister. 